Hello, my name is Chris, and in today's tutorial, we'll be looking at designing your own hockey USB memory stick. Um, I just want to make a note that uh, we've implemented a lot of new features, though some of them might be very subtle, uh, very powerful, very very powerful in terms of uh, making your USB memory stick really stand out. And as well, uh, I want to get this tutorial under 15 minutes so that you can quickly get underway designing your your own USB memory stick uh, and I hope I save you a lot of time and hassle so let's get right into it let's click click on this uh, thumbnail here and then let's look at the MHUG 003 let's click on that alright so before we actually get to the designing of the USB goalie flash memory drive let's select the number of units we want for this order um, the capacity for each of them. Um, yes, we do want a double-sided. I do want a lanyard. And at this point, this site generates a total cost for you as well as a, as a cost for each unit. This is really great for people who are tournament organizers or managers for teams because a lot of the time, uh, you know, teams do have uh, an allocated budget for spending on gifts for the team. So if you're a number cruncher this is a really great feature uh, below that you can fill out the information and get an estimate shipping cost as well so let's type in a pseudo postal code there we'll get a estimate shipping cost as you can see you can select from three we'll stick with the default Below that, you have two fields. You can actually name your job if you want, and as well, uh, add additional instructions. Uh, fear not, you don't have to be limited to this uh, little square here and think that you can only add in two lines. You can actually expand the box, and if you feel like, write a novel to us. Uh, so let's get right into it and hit Customize Order. We'll wait for the template to load. All right. All right, so I think the best practice here is to jump right into it. So let's go ahead and select the logo right there or the image. We can replace it. As you can see, there's four tabs that you can choose from. Uh, the first one being My Images. So if you're a returning customer and placed orders with us in the past, you can actually use images from your previous order for this uh, particular order. My Computer, which is straightforward. You can select an image straight from your desktop or your computer or folders within your computer. Uh, if you have a Facebook account, you can actually log in and choose an image from an album within your Facebook account. And my personal favorite, I'm a huge, huge user of Instagram. And I take a lot of photos with Instagram, Instagram. So I don't necessarily save all these images on my computer. So logging in and choosing images from my account, really, really great feature. But for the sake of this tutorial, let's go to my computer and select an image. I want to use this one here. Hit open. All right, so we can start cropping the image to our liking. Okay, this is really great. I want that size. Perfect. Uh, you can see here the site sort of is uh, indicating to us that the image is of a high quality, print quality, I should say, which is really great. Sometimes when you get an image on your screen, it might look fantastic, and you're like, oh, this is how it's going to look when you print it, print it. But that's not necessarily always the case. So just a rule of thumb, keep... Uh, when you're uploading images, make sure they're 300 DPI. DPI stands for dots per inch. Um, this ensures a really crisp and nice uh, uh, image for us to print. Um, anything below that, you start running into issues of being very fuzzy or pixelated. All right. So again, 300 DPI. Let's finish cropping that image. I'll let that image load onto our template. Now, at this uh, sort of uh, perspective, it's pretty hard to see... Uh, or manipulate elements within our template. So let's start zooming in here. So let's go at 250%, scroll. And we can start actually resizing the image too. So you can see there's four corner nodes, which allows you to sort of play around with the sizing. So you know what? I kind of like it at that. Okay. Once we got that, we can actually click on the uh, sort of the taping or the wrapping around it and play around the uh, placement with that. Also, you can select the darker version, but you know what? I like the original, so let's keep with that. 
And then you have an arrangement panel here, which allows you to bring elements back and forth. Since we have two elements here, you can start, you can, I just want to demonstrate something. So this brings it all the way to the front, which covers our image, which is not necessarily what we want. The other extreme to that is center back. All right, so as you can see, when you start playing around with these buttons, you can start running into issues of, oh, I don't remember how I had it, or I don't know how to get back to its original state. Fear not, you have the undo button here. You can start clicking it, and it brings it back a step. Uh, so, or it sort of undoes sort of your mistakes, if, if you want to call it that. Just You have to click it a few times, and boom, there we go. I'm happy with that. So next, we can actually start manipulating the text. So let's, I'm going to type in text here. As you can see, it's warning me it's a bit too big. So you know what, I'll shrink it down to around 12 here. And then at that point, I'm OK here. I'm not really happy with the color so you know I'm just gonna change it here sorry for uh, jumping ahead here so I'm gonna sl select the red color I like that you, again you can play with the font size if you have more than two lines which is not advisable especially on a USB mini stick because the printing area is so small and th once we get into two lines three lines you start losing the clarity of the font so again I can just demonstrate you can s play around the line spacing uh, what I do advise is actually playing around with the um, spacing between each letter or each font. So the further away that they are, the better clarity you can get. So let's select something like 12, for instance, right? Boom, you can see the spacing. It's a lot clearer, especially. And you can start making it bold, italicized. Oh, and I did forget to mention that... Um, you can also play around with the f uh, actual font style. So I mentioned earlier that we've implemented a, a, a lot of new features. This is one of them. Uh, this allows you to see the font that you want to select before you actually select this, or a preview, if you will. So I want to select something really crazy here. Um, let's, I'm looking for one here. Uh, you know, let's choose permanent marker. Oh, OK. I like that. So. Let's stick with that. I am happy with uh, the image on this side, so we can move over to the next. It's basically the same procedure here. So, again, this is where the My Images really come into play. You can select that. Again, start playing with the size. The So the warning message, or not a warning message, but an indication or a status message saying it's high quality, so you're really great. Click on that. Drag it down. Play around the sizing. You can, again, play around with the uh, graphic or the taping of the stick. Boom, I'm happy with that. Okay, and on this side, you can also change the fonts as well. That's... I want to choose a team slow, so let's just say... Let's choose a generic. Go team go. Okay. Again, I can play around with the font style. I'm going to go marker. Go with probably a size 12 font for this one. Play around the character space and let's go, oh, not 13, that's, I wanted to choose 11. <laughs> okay, there we go. 11, again, oh, I forgot to mention that you can also play around the, uh, the alignment of the text, but the uh, middle center is something I quite like for this one. You can also play around with the, um, the direction of the text. Uh, again, another new feature we've impl implemented. So at first glance, you're like, whoa, what the heck's going on? It looks like my text all over the place. But when you start playing around with the actual text box, you can see the power of this. And if I start rotating it, you can see where I'm going with this. So if you really want a different look to your USB stick and you really want to go crazy, um, this is a, a feature I highly, highly recommend. But uh, since I want this one to look plain Jane, and I want to sort of, sort of, want to make everyone happy on the team, um, I'm just going to simply click on Undo, click that on that a few times, and boom, I'm happy with that. Oh, I just probably want to change the color to a red. 
So let's click on that. Again, I can make it bold, italicized. Okay. And again, you can play it with the rotation. Um, but I'm quite happy with that. And again, you can play it with the arrangement. Alright, I'm really, really happy with that. So um, once you're happy with the design and everything, you can simply click on approve slash checkout. And at this point, a window pops up and it's sort of, sort of like a one final step before you actually process the order. Uh, just quickly review your order. Make sure everything's the way you want it to. Make sure the spelling's correct. Uh, just read the disclaimer here. Once you've done that, click on I accept the conditions and hit continue. And at this point, uh, you're pretty much design, finished designing your uh, USB mini stick. And all you have to do is just either log in, create an account, or check out as a guest. Uh, just make sure that you've entered in all the information correctly. Um, at this point, if you still have a lot of questions regarding uh, designing your, mini st uh, your USB mini stick, if you go to the left-hand side, you can see a little help button. Click on that, and a window pops up. Just simply uh, enter in your email, uh, your question, and a customer service rep uh, will uh, shortly uh, reply to you uh, about all your inquiries. So we got it under 12 minutes, which is really great. I hope I've answered a lot of your questions uh, in terms of designing your USB mini stick. And I hope you have a great day. Thanks.